Oh man, dude, this looks like we're on Rachel Ray. All right, three, two, one. Hey, welcome back to another uh, episode of That's the Way the Cookie Crumbles recipe segment. We're at the uh, lovely Kitchen Table Studios. Uh, we've got lots of friends here. Chef Drew Wooten, among other hats that he wears, is going to cook one of his favorite meals. And he's come up with something that actually says it's his favorite dish. What's it called? Uh, it's just steak. It's my only dish. <laughs> it's his only dish. Is this all you eat? Do you eat chicken? Yeah, well, some, yeah, I eat chicken. Some. I bake chicken. I can, I'll be happy to come back and do that too, but yeah. Actually, the way you were doing it was way better, so. I don't know about that. I don't think you need my my advice or help around If we get high it. ratings on this, you'll be back. <laughs> if not, we're moving on to somebody else in there. So, we've got everything here that we need. We've got uh, kitchen table equipment. Uh, Kennard, what kind of? Lecrosape grill pan, uh, enamel coated cast iron from France. Good stuff. It's French. French. So you know Can't it's Can't go wrong. French know how to cook and eat and drink. They do. So, they do. All right, and then we've got our, our cutting board, our Epicurean. I remember that one. Uh, and uh, it's fabulous. And the knives and the tongs that you need. So uh, I'm going to let you take it away. And uh, and your partner's right there. Maybe yeah, I have, I have Jamie, too. Come on, Jamie. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm here. Jamie's here, oh, and, and he's, he's here to uh, assist. So I'm just going to kind of stand back and watch and... I hope I learned something right, that ready? I can do. Ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, all right, all right. go ahead. Right, here we go. <laughs> so first, what you're gonna want to do? No, I'm just kidding. You should continue like that. Yeah, that's, yeah I was down with it. Um, so I got some dry aged steak from Corner Market. Uh, because this is a nice piece of meat, it's actually great because it's low maintenance. I don't have to do a ton of stuff. I know how to cook popcorn in the microwave, and pizza, like frozen pizza in the oven, and this. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna try it out. So. I've been, I've actually, I actually took this out of the fridge for, it's been out of the fridge for about 30 minutes or so. And whenever you try and put it on the skillet and cook it, um, if it's been refrigerated, it takes, sometimes it takes longer. I feel like it tastes better. Yeah. That's something I read somewhere. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing. A good piece of meat, you don't want to leave it in the fridge. Bring it out, let it sit. And, right. Uh, yeah. So that, so it's been sitting, so it, I don't know, it's like it's more tender or whatever. So what I'm going to do here, normally I'd put like some butter on this. We actually already have butter melted. Do we have a spray maybe? Should we do that too? Duck so, fat. Duck fat is yes. the king. So let's use the duck fat. Available at kitchen table. It's a beautiful product. We used it last time. It's wonderful. So, but you could use Pam. You could use just butter. You could use olive oil. The duck fat is actually, I've had that, I've had that before. It's really good. So I'm going to try and get the pan on high. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is just sear all the ends so that it's like a like a coating, and then it's gonna keep all the juice in there. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for not very long. What temperature does it have to be? 350, 375, okay? I think yeah, okay. yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna just let this get hot real quick so yeah. that when I put it on, it's. So now this is uh so these are uh, strips or ribeye? Ribeye. Ribeye. Okay. Dry aged, so it's been sitting in that. Uh, and if you go to Corner Market, you can see that. Uh, that corner market's got good steaks. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got beautiful. Some good steaks. marbleization on that. All right, Man. so are they cutting these for you, or are they in the already in the deli case cut? They were in the deli case cut, but this is one of those big ones where they just cut it in half because I knew that we were. I wanted to be able to cook it faster. Yeah. So you have that option too. I got you. If you look at it and it looks like that big monster, they can. They'll cut it however you want it. Because so, you, you buy something like this, you don't want to ruin it, right? So you no. want to make sure you're doing the right thing. That's why I'm very uh, nervous right now. No, you're gonna. I want it to. I want it to work. Bro. So this is all very like, like Tyler's like, bro, you got a, you got a recipe? I'm like, dude, I'm shooting from the hip here. As long as this is hot though, I should be pretty good. You it's know? getting there, that thing, yeah, it heats up pretty good. It'll, uh, it'll get, it'll yeah, get pretty it. hot. Woo! Hear that, hear that sound? That's a good sound there. It's ready. Beautiful sound. I think it's ready for you. All right. So do you season it first or what's on Oh, the that's right, that's right. Well, I'm just asking. I'm gonna salt it. You got the salt over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, salt it in here probably first. Yeah. That way I don't have to clean up your mess. Yeah, yeah. I do enough of that at work oh, okay. and at home. Check out the technique. Oh, look. Salt that. And that salt, Kenner, is. Salt raptor. Kenner, this salt is. Terrible. Is this a sea salt? This is a. This is serious. These sure raptor jokes have got to go. Right? This is serious stuff about the salt. Yeah. We got to have it. Salt it like you meme it. Look at it. That's beautiful. That, you can get that here. 
Yes, you can. We okay. have several different salts to choose from. That, dude, that's not that's just nice, man. That's not just regular salt. No, that's beautiful. That's like can a kosher. You see that? Can you see that at the house? That's not just regular salt. It's we're, not, we're not messing around with. Oh yeah. So I mean, is this? I norm. I normally use. I use Tony's a lot of the time. Yeah. And I go like I kind of go too much flavor, but I just started doing this dry age stuff, so I don't want to. Like with the, you know, my Walmart cut meat, I'd put Dales on it and all that stuff. Like, what do you suggest for somebody, like, if they're maybe not using a super nice piece of meat, would you put more stuff on there? Yeah, I mean, you could put more. I think you got enough salt, and then there's garlic salt, but you really don't need it. You could put some garlic on it, or you could put your Tony. But I think you're... Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You put whatever you like. I think it's going to work out good. What are you trying to cook to medium or... What do you like? I like a medium rare, yeah, okay. so I don't take a lot of time. And you can see it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's good. You can see it. Yeah. How it's cooking. Where's the thing at? The vinegar? Yeah. We're going to have to talk louder. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going on, so we're going to have to yell so y'all can hear. Well, we're at, you can tell, though, that we're actually cooking. Look at this. That's beautiful. I could, probably could have left that on a little bit longer. No, no, it's that, perfect. It's got good grill marks on it. Look, it looked like it was on the grill outside. Well, and that's why, like... And, this pan makes a difference. This you pan. Use a flat pan like that. Right. It's not going to get those marks. Right. So you need this. And this is the uh, what? Staub? 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 This one Staub. Nailed it first time. That's what you're saying. They both are the same product, both made in France. What you're saying is a little bit longer, about 10, 15 more years. Uh, it's been around about 95 years, in I think. Stock. They, I'm not sure what I have on real pan. But those lines are perfect, so, right. you know, for that. You could do chicken, too, and whatever. I mean, fish, like salmon, right. make it look nice. Right. Get the protein out of the fat in the pan, so that's part of grilling that's a little more health conscious, is it lets the, the, the bad juices drip away, something to consider. Right. But, but if you can tell, I kind of like cooking in a pan with the butter sauce. I just want to not burn it. That's really all I'm focused on. Well, you're not going to burn it. You're good. I'd let it go another three minutes. And then I'll get them on the sides too. Uh huh. Yeah. Oven yeah. And then... Oh, it's got to go in the oven too, right? You don't need much time. Yeah. Like, right, because right now we're not. This isn't the main. I mean, you actually these are thin enough. You could you could probably just do it on the on the stove. Yeah. But you're just trying to seal in all the the goodness. Yeah. The juicy goodness. How long do you put it in the oven for then normally when you're at your house? Eight minutes. Hey, okay. You're probably good. Once you seal those, we're probably ready to go in the oven then because it's, it's cooked a little bit. Is that burning? <laughs> oh, no! Uh-uh, water. <laughs> All right. Well, it's bound to happen. Now listen, something was bound to happen. Uh, one of the good things is that thing burns good. If you're out in the woods, you got that, you can start a fire with it. You have your little fire starter, and you got. We take a picture of that. Little charge. Hey, Yoke entered 1995. All right, so, are sorry. Sorry. It doesn't feel like it's gonna work. All right, it doesn't. So we're going feel in the here. So we're going in the oven. Sure. You want me to get heavy, man? Here. I'm Got gonna, it? I'm gonna go. Alright, see, so you can tell. <laughs> so we turn the handle. All that lifting weights for right. what? We're gonna come back in seven minutes. Yes. We're Try gonna cut to that steak. It. If it's overcooked, Sorry, we can still eat it. Hopefully it's gonna be your medium rare, medium uh, range, but we'll uh we're gonna get ready and everybody's gonna get to taste that and we're looking forward to it. From Chef Drew. Dude, I'm not a chef. I already burned something. It wasn't the steak. It was a... Chef's made the steak too, Drew. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be done. It's like... Dramatic. So, dramatic. Perfect. Oh, you smell that medium to It's like a caramel well smell almost that you don't get with any other cuts of meat, like this dry age. Man. So, probably less than a little bit too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's really good bad. Medium to well done. I'm 
we'll let you cut it and you, you tell us what uh, if, we, if, we, if we got it right or not. We'll see. They're looking pretty good though. All right, I'm gonna cut. We'll cut right here. I think it's perfect. Ooh. Let's see that. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. That's right on target, y'all. Let's go. So we're hey, going we with... only had to burn. We only had to ruin one thing to get two. We didn't. Steaks. We didn't ruin any food. That's the key. The 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 products. Really, we got to keep Kenner going. So we right. You can tear some stuff up. You come up here and buy it. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's plenty of products. Product it's no problem. <laughs> so look. So we're on the. So it's simple. You get whatever kind of steaks you want. Doesn't have to be ribeye. It can be strips. It can be fillets. You got a, a simple pan. Uh, a cast iron with the definitely with the marks on it so we were prepped with the salt and pepper so right. you were on the grill on the on the on the stove top for how long not uh, even not even 10 minutes maybe five so minutes, five minutes so. on each side maybe maybe four minutes on each side take it off keep it in the in your pan go into the oven which is at 370 this one's at 375 probably 350 would be fine Unless you want it cooked more, and it came out in eight minutes. Was we actually eight? did that only in four. Four minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah, eight yeah. minutes would have ruined it then. Right. Well, so could, yeah, yeah. Four minutes was perfect. It's medium. If you want it medium well, you got to go a little bit longer in the oven. But the, basically, what we're trying to say here is he's trying to prep it here to get it ready to go in there. So we're browning, getting the, getting the bottoms seared, so we keep the juices in on the sides and on the bottom and top. Right. Yeah. Am I taking yeah. away from your no. flame here? No, no. That's that's <laughs> literally it. I so, mean that's that was it, man. So uh, and it's uh, you know what to uh, so. I think you did good. Yeah, we're gonna see. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! And tender, very yeah. good meat. Beautiful, beautiful. Didn't burn it. So what's for dinner tonight? Beef. Steaks and maybe some potatoes, and that's it. That's all you need. Healthy too, man. Well, healthy. Yeah. So bon appetit from us three. Man, thanks for having us. Hey, enjoyed it. This was Thank great. you guys. This yeah, so appreciate it. Yeah, we had a good time. We'll have you on our show. I'm coming. All right, I've already go. got it on my calendar. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, with that. That's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. Hit that like button. Please. Please. <laughs> Please subscribe. I still got one in college. <laughs> Dude, we, all, I, we all need support. I mean, I like this apron though. You can have one. We need some logoed aprons that we we're talking about. We need oh, to get yeah. logoed aprons. So. Well, we too. Flat size fine foods or cro cookie crumbles. The the, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's what. We or flat toast fine foods. Or the Hardy Street Boys. Or, or the Hardy Street Boys. <laughs> or flat toast fine foods presents. Presents. That's the way the. At the crumbles. kitchen table studios. There's lots of marketing here. Meet me at the table. Meet me at the table. There you go. You're talking about testing the temperature. Yeah, yeah. Is that you do the so you thumb do the, thing? You do the right here. So this is rare. When it's loose, you come at the medium rare, medium. Well done. Are you supposed to do it? You can do it with fingers. I don't know about that. Something like that. I wouldn't really know that one. <laughs> I guess I a did train finger. under a, a black hat chef. And he he taught me how to cut meat. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's wow. like fillet. So cutting a whole fillet, and uh, I did learn that. I feel like. Well, and also... It doesn't do any good if you burn the steak, though. Right, right. how you cut the meat. We can buy some pots here. There you go. We got Is it good? Pots. Is it good? When we were Chef's married, good. Is it good? When we were married 35 years ago, and they rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>